Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial. My name is Kalechi Augustin Okori and I'm a Canva expert. So I promised to show you guys how I was able to create this beautiful design. Okay, it's not it's not difficult, it's something that everybody can do, but if I don't show you how to do it, you might not be able to do it. So just follow me as I show you how to create this beauty. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a blank page, which is this. Um, the size it's 3000 by 4000 if I'm not mistaken. So I just change okay, let me do that again. I change the color to black, which is this. This is our background color. It is black. Now if you have any question, do not hesitate to ask. So I'm going to be really quick with this. Now the next thing we're going to do is we'll start with uh, go over to elements and search for flare okay in order not to take much of your time i start most of the elements and the images i used so you go back to your start folder and here you can see some of the elements are used so this is so that we don't get to waste much time um going over looking for the elements searching for them using canvas elements and gallery section elements and photo section sorry so what i did to make it easy for every one of us is to just start it and i believe by now you know how to start an element or add it to a folder so it's going to be easy for you to locate now let's say i want to start this particular element okay this is an emoji balloon 3d so if i want to start this element or add it to a folder what i'm going to do is i'll go over to where you have the information um, button here click on it and you can either start it or add it to a folder Okay, if you add it to a folder, you can name the folder, and when you want to locate it, you just go back to project and search for folders, then look for it. But if you don't want to add it to folder, you can click on info and then start it, and it's going to come over here where you have the start folder, and you'll be able to locate it. So I did not start it. Okay, let me just do it so you'll be able to see. Okay, so here is that. Here you have it for us to identify it and locate it very fast without wasting much time that's how you get to do it so let's move over to the business of the day i'm going to delete this because we don't need it in our design now the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to start with which should i start with the background okay <coughs> sorry let's start with the background so i'm going to click on this which is our background and i'll go over to this place where you have replaced background and click on it i'm going to just edit it a little and I'm going to reduce the transparency to 10, 1, and 0. Whoa, it's <laughs> reduce it to 10. Just adjust it a little bit. And there you have it. So we have our background. It's not um, looking, it's not that visible, but when we're done, you're going to see it really clearly. Now, move over to another element. Okay, you can always get the information. The keyword so this is called golden dust this is the element you can find it in the element section just search for golden dust and you're going to see this so we have a golden dust here i'm going to take it here i hope i get it and then i'm going to go back to edit image and click on brightness i'm going to increase the brightness to what number what number what number i think that's a seven was what i used so that the seven for golden um, dust, I'm going to duplicate it and flip it horizontally so we have it on both sides. On both sides, let's hope it's accurate. And actually, uh, make it double so it's you want to make it um, like shine uh, more than the previous one. I just have to duplicate to make it double, but we don't want to do that now. So I'm going to leave it like this one on the left and one on the right. So moving on, now we're going to add our text, click on text, this, so the text I used was um, H-O-R-T-A Hotter, I don't think this is a Canva text, I downloaded it from an external website, I'm not too sure, now this is it, the king is coming. So I'm going to reduce 
the line spacing and increase the size of the text, I think, to 620. Yes, the king is coming. Put it somewhere here. So the king is coming. And then the color use the color code for the king is coming. I did not use white, I use yellow. So it's FFE533. Okay, so I'm gonna select it and then go over to F effects. Sorry. And then um come over to neon. This is it, neon. Just play around with it, increase it, increase it. It's too much. Increase it. Mm -hmm. It's something I'm trying to. Yes. The king is coming. So you have it. Reduce this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You notice there's a cross there that I want to be visible. I only really want it to be visible. And that this one or this one. I think it's this one. So we have it here. The king is coming. Take it to the back. Bring it to the front. So we have our text, the king is coming text, I hope, um, just to be. Okay. For good. We are good to go. 620, other um, colors, the king is coming. So let's move on. Let's have to make sure everything checks. Now the next thing I did was Go back to um, elements. Okay, like I said, I start some of the elements so we can easily locate them and use this. You can see the keyword angel halo ring neon icon. If you just type angel halo via element section, I'm sure they are going to give you something like this. So go back to edit image and increase the brightness to 15. So it rhymes with this. So we have the king is coming. We have um this the next thing i'm going to do is go over to um photos this time and search for king's crown so where is the particular image i used so let's go back to recently used i'm sure it's going to be here where are you so this is it Click on it and remove the background. Go back to edit image. Click on background removal. I believe you know how to do that. It's very easy. Click on the edit image. Go back to background remover. And Canva is going to help you to remove the background. So while we wait for it to load. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's Canva is doing its magic. Removing the background for me. Okay, so that's it. Apply. And we are going to wait for this okay so now i'm going to increase the image just a bit increase the image just a bit bring it somewhere here so at least we can still see um the text can see the text the king is coming here and go back to edit image just to make sure that the color and this color um, rhymes now go over to brightness and increase the brightness to oh, let's see 28 30 i think 30 i'm gonna reduce this now making sure that it's in the mid to so we have our crown we have the king is coming i'm gonna lock this so it doesn't interfere with our design so here we have it now the next thing i did was um go back to start and apply this okay this is um this is lens flare just go back to element section 
search for flare and you're going to see something like this now i did not just leave it like that i went over to edit image and then go back to filter click on all and apply there so this is the one i used now this at the bottom this is another flare graphic or element you can see sparkles and lens flare light so then i go went over to edit image after selecting the element i went over to edit image and clicked on what did i click, what did I click? after globe effects yes so see now here's the previous color now it's the color after applying the after glow effect this is how it turned out so we are on the right path we are still moving we have the king is coming we have our crown we have sorry we have our halo we have our crown we have the background we have the flare what else are we missing out on okay so we've got into this part i believe everybody knows how i did everything i did it's quite easy now the next thing i did was Went over to elements, selected this somewhere here. All the way down, and then clicked on border style. The border weight was seven, and then corner rounding one hundred. If I'm not mistaken, 100. Then, um, but that color, but that color, where are you? You can use this, you can use this, you can remove this. So, this is what we have. I think. So, we have a uh, halo. Now the next thing I did, I'm just going to copy that one and paste it because of time, which is this, um, the text, and paste it here. And paste it, I'm going to duplicate this and then bring it over to the side. There you go. So I'm going to show you how I did the animation. So I don't just um, give you, I give you the whole package from how I created the design to how I did the animation. It's quite easy, like I said. So we have our text here, March 2024. March 2024, we have this. It's going to take it to the back. And then I don't want this line to show all the way down. So what I did was I went over to my start folders folder and then i selected um this particular block changed it to black all black all black then brought it here all the way to the back then bring it to the front okay duplicate bring it here all the way to the back bring it to the front a little bit so it just covers this so now we have just to be sure to the front so the design it's okay now i'm going to delete this i'm going to delete this into the looking small i guess that's why Making sure. Oh, it's not easy. It's not easy. So we have our design here now. How to apply the animations? Now I'm going to delete this. Yeah. So we have just the design. Now I'm going to duplicate this page. Duplicate this page, and I'm going to delete this. Delete this. I'm going to delete this also. 
um, delete this, don't need it, delete this. So we're gonna have just, I'm gonna delete this too. So I'm gonna group, okay, delete the um, blur also. So we're gonna have just the flare, the one on the left and the one on the right. Now, I'm going to group this, okay? Group it and take it all the way here. Now this is going to remain locked, okay? Now, to animate this, um, I'm going to click on it, okay? Go back to animate and then select create an animation. Now, drag, select and drag an element. So here's what I did. I dragged this. I pressed shift first and then drag it slowly. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. This only works for, um, sorry, I'm going to group this again, ungroup it, and then group, ungroup, group, then click on animate, create an animation, and then I'm going to drag it down in a straight line, I just hope it does not bend, so, and it's going to go slowly slowly so that's for page one okay um I click on steady steady then i'm going to apply and anim done i'm going to apply an animation on this the flare the left and right so i'm going to click on this and the animation i used for this was fade yes fade the animation i used for come on i'm not done then this two fade also so now we have an animation for the first page okay and the time is five seconds now we're going to apply an animation on um the second page which is the actual design it's going to reduce this so there's space for me now i want you to note that now i want to animate the whole design okay this whole page now, if I can't get to the background, if I can't click on the background, I will not be able to animate the whole design. I'll just be able to animate um, just maybe the elements or the text. But to animate the whole design, I have to click on the background. So that's why I move this. So there will be space for me to click on it, which is this. And I'm going to click on animate. And the I'm going to use chill. I'm going to use chill for it. So we have... The first page we have the second page and then we're going to select music music so I'll go over to audio this is the particular song I use I love it so I'm gonna click on it for engine it's nice so now I believe you know how to create this design trust me it's not easy but now that I've showed you at least you have an idea on how to go about it it may not be this exact design but um, any other design okay you can apply this technique to it so my name is Kalecho Agostino Kori and I'm a Canva expert also a conversador and if you found this tutorial helpful please you can drop a comment a like and probably subscribe to my youtube channel so thank you this will be all that will be all for now and see you in the next tutorial okay it's been a while i did this so um maybe i'll get to do it more often and see you guys next time Bye bye